team. Introduce yourself, please, and good luck. Hi, my name is Vinny Buseri. These are my members of the team. Brian and Ernesto. And Guys, project your voice. And There's Professor Gary. Yeah, okay, we can't hear you. Yeah, Hi, my name is Vinny Buseri. This is my <laughs> members of the group. Brian, Ernesto, and Professor Gary Correa. And our project is cybersecurity with local area network using Raspberry Pi microcomputers. So, our, I, so the purpose of the project is to build a local area network to hack into without messing up the existing network. Hey, speak up. Is our purpose of the project is to uh, build a local area network to hack into without messing up the existing network. Therefore, we would have to make our own local area network so we can practice how, how to hack into and practice cybersecurity techniques. Because if we were to use the schools, we would leave the school vulnerable. What is a cyber, cyber attack? It is a malicious attack when, when someone wants to attack your computer, laptop, or phone. Why are cyber attacks used for? To steal money, to access sensitive data, and to weaken the integrity of someone or a certain company. And these attacks could be financial fraud, information, or identity theft. These are the methods that may, that may be used. Phishing is a scam that tricks people into providing personal information, such as credit cards, Passwords or sensitive personal information. Malware attacks are harmful software such as viruses and ransomware attacks are a simple form of malware that breaches defense and locks down the computer. Uh, DDoS, which is a distributed denial of service, which is targeting the computer by flooding them with traffic. Hanging them with more than two computers causes the network cease to work. <coughs> and out of date unpatched software would leave vulnerabilities and security. And this is our microland overview. Where we have the our Cali Linux, our GCP server, and the Windows Internet of Things. And our lamp stack, our switch, and Raspberry. Cali uh, Linux. Cali Linux has a special cybersecurity software that's basically used for the big bad to attack networks and such. Some of the tools that's used in it are for like stealing passwords or looking for exploitable weaknesses in a computer system and looking for open ports so that the big bad can get in and basically attack the network. And, uh, in the last slide, I've said how Cali Lanks is the big bad. Raspone here is the victim. Except it's left vulnerable purposefully. So this guy basically has nothing to hide and no shame on what someone might find on them. But really, we use. Okay, but like, we're using it for like practicing hacking techniques and methods and it's open so source so it's great for anyone to go on and practice hacking themselves. And the uh, Linux DHCP server, it instantly assigns IP addresses to devices and in the old days, we could like 
assign it manually, but in modern day technology, we assign it automatically, and every network needs an IP address or else it won't work. So we're using a LAMP stack uh, in this Raspberry Pi over here. And we're simply, it's simply uh, just a database that's going to provide the secure environment that we're going to try to crack into after we practice hacking this one. So um, this one would be like an actual server that has all the ports closed, and we need to actually figure out how to do things into this one. So this would be a, se a secure version of this one over here that we're using to crack. So um, this has a few things running in it. Uh, Apache is just your web server. If you use Windows, it's something like an IIS server, something like that, just to display web pages. Um, PHP, we use it to talk to, uh, to the database itself, um, which is running through MySQL, SQL. And then we also have just a regular just a Linux server. It's, um, it's not really doing much, but we can use it to uh, just practice a couple of the things and just make sure that the settings are actually the way they're supposed to be. Um, then we also have, go to the next one, which would be Windows IoT Core. It's the smallest uh, version of Windows that you can have, and it's uh, made to run on small architecture, like ARM architecture. Um, and, and it's good for like POS and things like that, so this is something that we can learn to hack into eventually, and that would be something like trying to steal credit card information um, from somebody that's doing a transaction at the moment. But it's not like the regular Windows that you see. It's completely stripped down. It's the most basic thing that you can have. And that's why it fits into something small like this. So the reason that we use Raspberry Pis is because they're really cheap. It's like 30 bucks for one, and it does everything that a computer does. This is a computer for all sorts and purposes. This is an actual computer. It has Wi-Fi built into it. You can plug it into an Ethernet network. So it's pretty cool. It's it's a cheap way to practice hacking without breaking the whole system in the, in the college. Um, and then this is the actual last overview. So like he was saying, Kali is the bad guy, or the way that we actually test the networks. Uh, we need a switch to direct uh, information from one to the other. This is the vulnerable, the target machine over there. So that's the guy, the first sap that's gonna get all his information stolen. Uh, the DHCP is just to give out addresses. The LAMP stack's the actual secure version. It's live, and we're gonna eventually hack into this. Uh, and Windows IoT is down the road. We'll come up with something to hack into it. Um, so there's just a couple different ways to kind of keep yourself secure online. Uh, don't use password as your password. Don't use user one. Don't use things like that. Maybe you wanna use like a bunch of different words like cat, house, mouse, and a bunch of different characters. It's a lot harder to hack. Um, also, just you know, always keep your settings up, keep your software running securely, uh, make sure to update all your apps on your phones. Don't ever, ever, ever log into networks that are unencrypted. So if it doesn't ask you for a password, don't really, don't use it, don't, don't use it, all right? And uh, don't ever store stuff on your, on your computer. So pretty much what I mean by that is, Chrome has a built-in feature where it saves all your passwords. Don't use it. I know it's easy to use, but somebody could just hack into it, take your whole database of passwords, and you're done. So that's what we're doing, and eventually, this is good for the ethical hacking class, so if anybody is gonna take that down the road, you might be using this machine. All right, that's it.